Lads, what's going on, Gonfia? And today I'm going to be bringing you a hybrid squad builder, as usual. You not, all, you lot already know by now. Love bringing these squads to you. In this team, we have got the likes of uh, Inform Silver, who goes for around about 200k. We've got a brand new Inform Obama Yang, who sells for around about 50 to 60k. Uh, came in was in, in team of the week yesterday, actually, and we've just got a shitload of Informs and stuff. So it's a really, really nice team. As usual, if you're looking for cheap FUT coins, link will be in the description. But let's get into this team anyway, lads. And in goal, first off, we're going to be starting off with a silver. His name is Lad Unastall. Great, great keeper. I mean, it's not often you come across silver keepers who are, like, you know, can actually cut it. A lot of them are just really, really shit. But this guy was good, was really good. Six foot six, 77, to 77 diving, 79 reflexes, and 74 positioning on a silver keeper. Is very good. And then he's backed up by his height as well, which is amazing. Didn't have any problems with him, and he was definitely worth 2k. On to the centre-backs then, we have got Nkulu, and he is going to be partnered with Joel Matip. Uh, first off, we'll start with Joel Matip. 74 pace, 81 defending, and 82 heading, which is absolutely brilliant. Managed to pick him up for 19k. If you are lucky, you could probably get him for even cheaper than that, and he is really, really good. I mean, he's, he's got the pace to, to keep him in position. He's got good work rates, and he's just got good defensive stats. So he will do the job, and I think he was definitely worth the money. And he's going to be partnered up by the same nationality, both Cameroon and Kulu, who I'm pretty sure is a very popular defender because of that 79 pace and that 82 defender. A lot of people might say he's a sweat defender, of course. Only 80 rated as well, but I think he's just amazing. He's strong. It w I, I would prefer him to have a little bit more height on him, but he wins headers anyway. He's strong, and you do notice him. He's all over the pitch. I mean, he's always getting stuck in. On to our right back then, we're going to be using this guy, Rod Fanny. Well, let me put it this way. He is no Fanny on the pitch. He is an absolute machine. 85 pace, 78 defending with 74 heading. He's even got a 75 pass on him as well. Six foot one. They are unbelievable stats for a right back, in my opinion. I don't know how he's only 78 rated. I think he was previously actually a centre-back, so that's where his defending and stuff comes from. But then for 18k, what you get, he was de he was worth every penny, lads, and I highly recommend him. On to the left-back then, lads, we've got Jordi Alba, who I hated his 81 version. Just used his 82 version, because the reason I bought his 82, as you can see from my coins, I could have easily got his 83 version, but I thought, you know what, there's not enough changes in the stats for me to want to go and get his 83. His 83 is double, his 83 is 160k. Why would I want to go and spend 160k, double his price, when his 82 is basically exactly the same? And lads, to be honest, his 82 was rubbish. I can't, I don't get on with Jordi Alba. He's always out of position. He doesn't seem to be that strong. Going forward, he's not even that good. I've used so many better left-backs than Jordi Alba. And for me, lads, I know a lot of you may have different opinions on him to me, but I just don't get on with Jordi Alba. I think he's rubbish. But that's, of course, only my opinion. Moving on to the midfield then, we have got the link-up with Jordi Alba, which is going to be Song. Then in the centre, we're going to be using this guy. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. And then on the end, we're going to be using Galu... Galavogu. Gulavogu, if that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, we'll start off with uh, Alexander Song, or Alex Song, whatever you want to call him. 72 pace, 82 defending, 76... Oh, as you can see, is, is, he's a perfect centre mid slash CDM. Stats are amazingly balanced. Picked him up for 2.4k, managed to get me a goal. And he is what keeps the midfield in, in place, intact. He's everywhere, he gets stuck in, and he's a really... I, I loved him, I thought he was amazing. Into the middle then, slightly more of an attacking midfielder. Maybe some of you may say that's not a good idea, putting someone with only 42 defending in the middle. But it worked, it worked for me. He's silver, he was quick, scored four goals in six games for me. Man, he, obviously he's originally a CAM slash centre forward. But he, play, he played fine in certain midfield, lads, honestly. He was, he, he was actually like sort of getting back in midfield and then pushing forward, just how I liked it. His passing wasn't too good, but, I mean, he managed to come up with four goals in six games, which is brilliant for me. So, I don't, I, I'm not really bothered with that. Then, coming across to Joshua Gol Golavugi, if that's how you pronounce his name, it looks like that's how you pronounce it. Call him Josh. 69 pace, but 74 defending, 74 heading, and 70 passing. So, he is made for the centre midfield. Picked him up for 3.8k and didn't really see much. He managed to get me two goals, but did the job in midfield that I wanted him to do. And as you can see now, it is linking up lovely for Aubameyang, who you block could have probably guessed it from his link up here. Same team. Aubameyang, all I can say about this guy is good things. He was just, he was amazing for me. I loved him. I would have loved if EA would have kept him as a striker. Imagine he's in form striker. He would be so much better. I have probably paid too much for him. He's probably come down a lot more for 70k over the last day now because I did buy him yesterday when he was in packs. Just in packs. But um, 
93 pace, 81 dribbling, lads. In game, he plays so good. He's so fast. His shot's nice. He's got a good pass on him. He's good in the air. He's just an all-round really good player. Would love him to have the first-hand skills, of course. But it, it wasn't really a problem for me. On to the left then, lads. I'm not sure if any of you know about this guy. He's ex he's one of the most rare silver cards you're going to find on the game. We he he Marco Fabian, I mean... I liked him. I liked him. A lot of people w won't like him because he is originally a left foot, uh, left midfielder. Playing him on the left foot could, could slightly be out of his uh, range. But in-game, lads, I, I thought he was amazing. His dribbling, uh, that's a light EA. It is not 78. His dribbling for me was incredible. That was his best trait. Forced out weak foot as well. He could shoot on any foot. Managed to get me four goals. He scored some nice goals in-game. And he's just a handful for defenders. He's so nimble. Got a great shot on him. Can pass the ball. He's got all-round great stats. And to be honest, they're the stats of a goal player. And of course, you have got to pay. This was the cheapest one on the market. I mean, there was four on the market, lads, on Xbox in any position. That's how rare this guy is. But to be honest, foot is rare, I think, because how rare he is, I think he was worth that. But how he played, I think he's worth more around the 70 to 100k mark because he's a really overpowered silver player. But on to the striker now, lads. We have got, to sum up the team, it is going to be Omar Ar Aralano. Hmm, didn't manage to get me too many goals, but I was I was impressed by how much he works for the team. I mean, he was just everywhere. He was in midfield, he was up front, he was out wide, he was always getting the ball back. He had good aggression on him, that was one thing I noticed. He did manage to come up with the goals, but it is hard to, to pop up with goals when you've got two such good right forwards and left forwards doing a lot of work for you. But, like I said, I was impressed with how, how much he was getting up and down the pitch and assisting, so fair enough to him. Uh, Matt, star of the team was definitely a bomb yang in form, lads. He was amazing. If if you have enjoyed this squad, lads, please leave it a thumbs up. That is it. I will leave you some goals, and I'll speak to you next time. Peace.